Tim, Nikita, what's it like coming to the gym and training with your brother when you're both professionals? You first. Um, for me, it's motivating. <laughs> I get to, especially on the days of when you're sparring, he's usually going first. And I get to sit back and watch just like a master class. Um, watching, watching him destroy every opponent that he gets in there with. <laughs> for me, for me, um, again, I, I'd say it is motivating because he pushes things to the next level. So for me, it's like, all right, I, gotta, I can't just stop and do some uh, sit-ups and finish it up. I've got to keep going. So because uh, of him, I do those extra <laughs> rounds as well. He's sort of like that, isn't he? He pushes everything to the next level. To the next level? Yeah, that's how his brain works. <laughs> Was he like that as a kid? He's always been the chaser as a kid. Uh, the, little, the little shit that we would say in the, in the ring, uh, in the gym here. Uh, always causing some sort of mischief. <laughs> loose cannon. Chaos. Chaos is the word. So I think, uh, yeah, that's Nikita. You seem to embrace it though. You don't find it, or at times, do you find it annoying? What's that? What, what he's like, poking well, fun and, and oh. trying to annoy and do all the bits well, No, but I know not to mess with him. Uh, <laughs> I, I have boundaries, yeah. <laughs> and I'm sort of used to it with dad. Him and dad are like exactly the same, like copies of each other. So, Costa Zoo, Nikita Zoo, same people, just different bodies. Just reincarnation. Yeah. Did he pull you in the line a few times when you were younger? Oh, I'd be, my childhood was just co constant bloody noses. Um, yeah, I used to always bash him. Yeah, it was just like a <laughs> weekly thing for us. <laughs> he used to always knock you, that, knock you out a little as well. Yeah, there's a couple videos of yeah, him yeah, knocking yeah, me yeah, out yeah. cold. <laughs> I remember, remember the video with um, Nastya, he used to bash Nastya. Yeah. <laughs> he used to bash the little sister because I used to give it to him. <laughs> I needed some sort of win. <laughs> Do you think it's impacted him long term, what you did to him then? <laughs> Well, he seems like he's all right now. <laughs> sometimes semi, semi sometimes right. goes a bit weird <laughs> in weird situations, but yeah, I think he's all right. Um, do you think people know how to take him? Like uh, opponents, for example, do they understand what he's on about? Um, that's the, the thing with Nikita, the mysteriousness of, of the opponents. They don't understand what's going on. And... Um, I remember saying a long time ago, you know the Joker? He's like the Joker, yeah? You can, you can think of him in a certain way, but when it's, when it's time to switch, he knows when to switch. He's the switcher. <laughs> Do you like that? That people don't really get what level you're working on sometimes? Yeah, I like the, the fact that there's nothing that kind of describes me perfectly. And yeah, there's always a little bit of mystery to it. Do you think unpredictable. Yeah, unpredictability. Do you reckon that helps you in, in boxing or has it helped you as a pro so far that people might think they understand or think you're going to do something when the fight starts and then you inevitably do something completely different? Yeah, it's kind of like I can bring out a different game plan, I can bring out a different stack tactic um, just whenever I feel like. Um, what do you think the main differences between you and Tim as, as boxers are? Tim's a lot more calculated and um, he's a lot more skillful, I'd say, in the, the basics, the tactics, the fundamentals of boxing. I kind of have more of an um, improvising like, tactic or improvising, uh, I don't know what the word for it is. You make it up on the run yeah, a little bit? Yeah. What do you think the main difference is? Um, in box, no, let's say in life, I'll think before I do. Nikita does, and then he thinks. <laughs> and the same thing happens in the ring. Um, he does it, and then he thinks about it. But most of the time when he does it, it's fireworks. You know, mine's more calculated. Nikita's is fireworks. Everything you see in his first six fights, every fight's been fireworks. First round stoppages. Um, running around the ring, it's, uh, it's been chaos and, and, and that's, I think that's the perfect way to describe um, Nikita. What about some of the things he says, is there, any, is there ever a moment where you're like, oh, what's he, what's he on about here? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm so used to it now that I'm like, you know what, this is, this is Nikita. So expect the unexpected from this kid. Yeah, let, it, let him shine. Just let him, let him, <laughs> let him be. Fuck. 
let the public know who he really is. Yeah, there's, there's no there's, point. There's, there's no, no filters. Yeah, there's no point hiding something because he is who he is. What about when he, we were doing a press conference and he called you a beautiful butterfly that day? <laughs> what was that? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you've, you've blossomed into a beautiful butterfly. Yeah, yeah, I was like, oh. fuck man. I should have paid him some, some, some money for that, you know? I didn't even have to pay him anything. <laughs> and with Jack the other day, what did you say? Yeah, yeah, something about his beautiful bubbliness? Or? Oh, yeah, there's like a bubbliness to him that's, yeah, that is very interesting. Or I find very appealing. <laughs> took, him, <laughs> took him by surprise. And, I was, and behind, the, behind the camera, I was complimenting his eyes for being nice and bright and blue, and he didn't know how to take that. <laughs> I think boxing's got this stigma to be tough, you know? Mm. And we know it's not like that, man. You can look tough, you can walk around with an entourage of 50 people and have all that, but once you get in the ring, it's, it's, it's different, you know? You can act whatever you want before a fight, but once you get in the ring, it's... it's Chaos. <laughs> you get very, well, not nervous, but um, very alert when Nikita's fighting. Did you, did you expect it to impact you so much um, watching him? I didn't understand what I was in for, <laughs> but I understood that on the first fight. I was like, man, this is, yeah, this is nerve wracking. <laughs> this is stressful. Yeah, stressful. This is, yeah it's stress <laughs> times 10. <laughs> what, yeah, what is it like? What does it feel like watching your brother in that situation? It's very hard. It's very hard due to the fact that, especially when, you're at, when you've learned to be able to take control of, of destiny, um, it's something that you can't control and it's in his hands. But I have full trust because I see what he does in the ring and I see what he does here in the gym and Nikita does put in work. So, um, yeah, hopefully he starts thinking <laughs> before he does <laughs> stuff. <laughs> Did you ever, when you were a little kid, because you obviously saw your dad, did you, did you have any of that when it was your dad or, or because he was your dad and he was up on this What's pedestal? That, did you ever get the nerves or the anxiety like you do with Nikita no. when you would watch dad when you were a little kid? No. Well, no, it was, it was completely different. Yeah, it's no. a diff completely different feeling. Um, I guess me and Nikita are much more closer to each other than, than what we were with dad. We've grown up with each other, mm -hmm. we've been in each other's lives our whole, our whole life. So it's, it's, a, it's a bit different bit different feeling. How do you feel watching Tim? I honestly never really enjoyed it when I was um, when I was away from the sport when <laughs> when he was, Tim was just coming up in his boxing I I knew I was only there for like a handful of fights and it was because it was just a sh very stressful very stressful event for us it's a uh, it wasn't very enjoyable but when I started getting back into the sport, I found more interest in it Although it is still very stress, very stressful, it's it's still like it's a connecting moment between us, and I always feel like I can telepathically communicate with him. Although we're probably he's probably not understanding a word that I'm saying to him. <laughs> um, yeah, it's 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 tough, but again, I know that he's in full control. This is his life. This is his destiny. He's. And for me, it's more just like watching a movie, watching, watching him take over and watching him do his thing. Do you experience that telepathy when you're fighting and he's watching as well? Um, no, I don't think so. <laughs> you don't or, have any thoughts? The, the, the only voice I really hear is Igor. Actually, Igor and Tim, yeah. They do two well, I've, I've slowed Isn't down, it? man. Yeah, for the first, first man, few fights. I know, I've, I've slowed down. The first couple of fights, I was just out of control. And I sat down, <laughs> like, you know what? I really need to work on this. <laughs> so the next, the last fight, I was like, you know what? I'm not even going to walk out with Nikita because <laughs> I'm going to say something stupid or something's going to happen. I'm out of my emotions. So now it's just like I'll come in low key, sit in the corner, let him do his thing. But then once once he got that win last time, I was like, damn, it came out of me you again. Jumped, I jumped, jumped down, down the ring. ring. <laughs> it's like ah, full of energy again. Went full Ultimate Warrior. Yeah. When, when the tongue comes out, that's when oh, the know. energy's gone. <laughs> talk about the tongue. <laughs> What's that moment like when he when he wins, when he stops someone? It, it, how does it compare to when you've just won a fight? What are the differing emotions? It's shush. <laughs> um, I guess it's a more more proud feeling. I think my last fight, I was like angry when I won. I was like, 
like, I was like in a killer destruction mode. I was like, is it over already? Well, when Nikita won, I was like, wow, over the moon. I was like, thank God this finished, you know? Like, this is, this is the best result that can possibly happen. What about for you? For me, I was just, the thing that was going through my head was like, wait, it's over? Wait, what the hell? Like, I full got my camera out. I was like trying to make a little documentary. I was like, God damn it, Tim, a little bit longer. I need some more footage. <laughs> But I just then uh, instantly just jumped up, I was like, whoa, okay, let's get with the moment. <laughs> and what about with your most recent win? Like, you, you know, good shots and then everyone getting tackled by the ref and, and the <laughs> chaos, what was that like? I didn't really know what was going through my head. It was, I just went through a burst of energy and I don't know why I started running around in the ring, but it was just the first thing that came to my head. Yeah, it was just, it was electric. And there was a bit, a bit of an edge to that as well, wasn't there? Like, he'd obviously annoyed you a little bit. I wouldn't say it annoyed me, but there was there was a little back and forth between us two. That he did talk all a lot of game and bring in a lot of American American amazing trainers, <laughs> and it was just good to get it done so quickly. Um, who's Jack Brubaker in Australian boxing, Tim? Jack is a character, an entertainer, uh, a tough boxer. Someone experienced being there. Um, yeah, he's, he's, a, he's a good pedigree. And what does he represent sort of in Nikita's journey, do you think, given he's only had six fights? Um, it brings, it brings a, a good fight in Nikita's career to be doing this so early. Um, and it's, yeah, it's, 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 it's a good pedigree jump someone a little bit more experienced. Um, a moment of maturity to kind of experience he goes, he that. Said it. He said it. Is he ready for that jump? I think the question should be reversed. Is Jack ready for <laughs> what's coming? <laughs> and what is that that's coming? Well, the way I've seen it, um, well, I, I described before does and then thinks. But what's coming is thinks before he does. So I think that's the that's the maturity that's coming out. And he sort of has to do that, doesn't he? Getting to this next level of this these kind of opponents. Hundred percent. And uh, Nikita knows it's not going to be one round uh, stoppages each time. You, you're going to go to distance. It's it's that's inevitable. That happens to every fighter. Uh, you're going to have those tough fights. Uh, so now that he's, I'm seeing him in the ring and. He, and He's thinking and, and working on things while well, before it was just pure emotion. Uh, working on through pure emotion, uh, I think that's the biggest difference. What's, um, what are Jack's strengths? What would he present that's been different to what Nikita's seen before? I think Jack, I'm not sure about how hard the other boys hit, but I, rem I remember when I, uh, the, the jab, the only jab that he, ever really hit me with was quite hard. Um, so he does have heavy hands. He's tough, durable. Uh, that, that always presents challenges because it becomes a tougher fight when you get a, a bit more tired, of course. Um, and he's unpredictable. You don't know what's going to happen. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's, that's the main challenges. What were your thoughts when you heard that he was fighting Jack, is that an exciting fight to you, Nikita against Jack Brubaker? I think it's a, a fight that Nikita, again, for me it was like you need fights to wake up to. And I think that's a type of fight that Nikita is, it's a good stepping stone into that pay-per-view platform uh, that he can wake up to, you know. Enjoy not just the fight, but everything about the whole boxing, you know. The press conference, the back and forth, you got a character, someone that's not boring, um, <coughs> that's what boxing's about. There's an interesting story to this one. Yeah, yeah. What's the story? Just like the the lead up, the lead up, the the open, the opening, the then the finale. And you know what, Nick? We, we've we've seen Jack for a long time. He used to come here as, as spa a long time ago. So Nikita was only what 13, 14 mm -hmm. years old back then. You know, and to see him now, what 25. Yeah. Um, to be fighting him, it's a, it's, a, it's a cool little story. What used to happen in those days when Jack was around? Did 
Did you spar him? Um, no, I never, I never sparred him. No. Um, that, back when I was like, what, 50 kilos or so, and he was like 64 or so. Mm. Um, yeah, he used to always, we used to come here pretty often, um, like on a weekly basis or so. Yeah, yeah. Um, Tim, uh, Jack was your third pay-per-view fight yeah. and a completely different build-up and it sort of took you as a personality to a different place. Can you just ex explain that? Yeah, it's sort of... Um, the first two fights in, on my pay-per-view uh, debut, the first two pay-per-view fights, it was, uh, yeah, it was a different buzz. It was a lot of respect. But me and Jack, we had a bit of, we had a bit of banter. We had a bit of back and forth. Um, at the time, I was still inexperienced and I had a hatred towards him and I really wanted to hurt him. Uh, he was running his mouth. Uh, he wasn't humble at all. There was no compliments. There was, it, was, it was literally, I really wanted to hurt him. And um, I guess the, the emotions in Nikita's fight with Jack, it's a, it's a bit different. You know, it's a bit different. Did he, he got in your head a little bit, didn't he? They never got in my head, never got in my head. Uh, I was never not once worried about it, but I was, just had anger. I wanted to let it go. <laughs> I, I think, what did you say at the, at the weigh-in? Did you say the, this clown's going down or something like that? I said, um, I'm gonna do Australia all. Uh, I'm gonna give Australia um, all a favor and I'm gonna knock this clown out. <laughs> Do you remember that build up? Um, yeah, slightly. I remember just the antics. It was the, a big one. I remember the antics at the, the Bondi boxing gym where he was yeah, just, yeah. just constantly running yeah, his mouth. Yeah, yeah, he was talking it up, mm. got in my face, and I was, took a step back because his breath stunk. <laughs> um, and I remember in the way in, he went and did this like gorilla, um, <laughs> gorilla thing. Nearly broke his ribs, the poor bloke. I was, I was looking at him like, what's this guy doing, man? <laughs> you know? But yeah, it's all, it's, he's a character. We're, we're, it's all part of the show. It's all part of the show. We're all, we're all a bit different in, in different ways. Does that help you like, know what Jack's about, that you saw what he did with Tim and, and how Tim handled it? Um, I've got my own way to handle this fight. I, Tim and I are completely different people. We're... Um, we're going to both have a different approach to this, but it's good to see how he's laid out like a little blueprint of how to break him down. <laughs> um, do, do you think, because he brought anger out in Tim, do you think mm -hmm. he'll bring anger out in you? Or? No, I don't think so at all. Um, he's bringing more of like a fun, funness out of it for me. For me, it's more going to be like pleasurable beating him up. It's, <laughs> it's not going to be out of anger. It's just going to be out of like just this just this desire and just lust to see him in pain. <laughs> You're cruel, man. <laughs> On the spot, man. That's, that's pretty good. <laughs> Do you want to talk more about that? Like, people don't understand that <laughs> stuff. And even for us who've been around you a lot, like, it's, it's out there. Where does that come from and what does it mean to you saying that stuff and, and believing that stuff? Um, I don't really know where it came from, but could always be. I was a little bit like a bit of a loner as a kid. I was always kind of doing my own thing. I used to collect uh, redback spiders in my backyard and mm. kind of just put them in boxes and just suffocate them. I don't know. I don't know why I used to do it, but <laughs> it was just a thing. I was always fascinated animals. Well, now everyone knows, eh? Yeah. <laughs> now everyone knows. <laughs> yeah, I, was, I thought it was a secret, man. <laughs> I didn't want to say nothing. <laughs> I feel sorry for my mum for she, she's the one that had to deal with it all. It took me to a psychologist before, when I was younger, and they said that, yeah, there's nothing really wrong with him. Just, just attention. <laughs> what other things did you use to do? Um, well, it's hard to think off the top of my head, but like weed or like anything, um, anything, if, anything. If, <laughs> I don't know whether you think they're weird, but. Do you remember anything else about about him as a kid or this sort of stuff, Tim? <coughs> no fear. I remember no fear. Oh, when we used to um, when we used to kind of like entertain ourselves, 
I was always happy to hurt myself for their entertainment. So we had like this big medicine ball or exercise ball and I was always happy to hold it as they would run at me with it and I'd just be like slammed onto the floor. <laughs> I don't know why, but they were, they were my, big, my big brothers that, that I just always wanted to entertain and please. <laughs> and I'd put my body on the line for them. <laughs> it's a bit like your boxing, isn't it? Like you're, yeah. you're happy to take punches, you kind of like it. Yeah, it's kind of hard to break all the, the brain, brain cells out already. They're already gone. <laughs> It's a different thing to you though. You've got the, you know, your dad's words of don't get hit sort of thing. Whereas yeah, yeah. he's, do, do you try and tell him that? No, he's, as much as he's saying that, he, <laughs> once he gets in the ring now, he's different. He's, he's, uh, he's a much smarter fighter. He's not just a red back, <laughs> a red back collector. He's a, he's a smarter fighter. <laughs> Um, with all the stuff you were saying to Jack the other night and at the presser and all that, like, what, what is that? Is that just you just wanting to show who you are or are you messing I'm, with I was, him? I was, no, not really messing with him. I'm just trying to get to know him. I'm trying to kind of understand what's inside his head. What's, what's, what's the, what are the things going on in him? And it's kind of, it makes the, the process of the fight much more enjoyable because you get to know them personally. You get to... Like I was asking him about his tattoos, trying to understand what was his thought process in all of them. And yeah, I don't know, for me, it's just kind of like you're reading a book, you're doing a little bit of research on the, on, your, on the book, then you buy the book, and then you throw the book out. It's all part of the, it's all part of the story. It's a big serial killer vibe there. <laughs> <laughs> um, what do you think's gonna happen in, in the fight? Like, you know where he's gonna be. Um, do you just want to go to war or like you want to just get it done? No, I don't want to get go to war. I don't want to, I don't want any blood to come out of my body. I'd rather, I'd rather be just a one way street for, for blood. Um, for me, I want to have a, like a very educational fight from it. I want, I want him to be very durable. I want him to be able to absorb a lot of the shots and not, not let the fight go um, be short prematurely. I feel like a lot of my stoppages have been a little bit premature and this could be an opportunity for me to really, really have kind of an opportunity to have like a beat, beat someone up and like really put someone in, in some serious pain. Because I know that he's, he says that he's never been hurt or he's never quit. So that's, that's beautiful. It, it gives me this kind of feeling of like the old school Mexican fights where I can really take someone into deep waters. But in saying that, he got rid of him in four. Yeah, but he's a uh, Jeff Fennick, um, kind of threw the white towel in, white flag, white flag. So hopefully his new trainers. They don't no, he was to... hurt. Yeah. You can't say he wasn't hurt. Oh, he was. He, he was. He, he was, says he, says yeah, he, he says was, he wasn't he says hurt, he wasn't. but he was. He was hurt. <laughs> he's been hurt in a couple fights actually, from from what I remember. Would you like to beat that round four though? Honestly, I, I couldn't care less. I just, I just wanted to be to for his face to get really messy. And it will. Yeah, it will. I want him to look at himself in the mirror afterwards and be like, "Damn, time to retire." Yeah, CBF, take the cowboy hat off and <laughs> put it in the bin. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think we'll see in the fight? Honestly, exactly there. Cowboy hat off. <laughs> Time to retire. <laughs> That'll be a good little thing to hold but in I my think, arsenal. I think it will be tough. Um, Nikita's hands are going to have to go through a lot, and he has to be smart. He's got, he has to think that every time he hits, you're going to have someone hitting your back straight away. He's going to close his eyes and he's going to keep it coming, and he's, he's going to keep hitting. Um, yeah. It's going to be, it's an entertaining fight. I know you do this privately, but is there anything that you're happy to give him by way of advice for this fight with the camera here? Like, is there any, any words that you'd say it to him? About, Jack? Yeah, about a fight with Jack. You've fought Jack, oh, right. he's fighting Man, Jack. In, in all honesty, um, just uh, think before you do. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. And, and from think, what and I've think afterwards. from what I've yeah. seen, from what I've seen, Nikita Nikita looks in good shape. Um, he's a big boy. 
Um, and I, I think Jack doesn't re realize that yet. But once he does get in the ring and he starts puffing and huffing like that, um, the kid just needs to be smart. Um, well, we'll do get Jack to do the same thing, but can you blokes look down the barrel and give Jack a message? You might want to start. I don't, I don't know what you're going to say, but you might want to... <laughs> You might want to yeah, start. Give me, some, give me some time to think about it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just go off the back of your brother. Like, yeah, just give us a message. Yeah. Jackie, sorry, man, but the competition is here. Um, I did it in four. I'm hoping you can do it under than four. Get your cowboy hat ready. I'm coming for it. <laughs>